and greetings to everyone my name is Heram Kulkarni I represent Council for Creative Education uh, with a we have a mission of redefining education through creativity and greetings to all who are also online uh, so uh, this is our current challenge and this challenge is not only in Ukraine but this challenge is universal kids are not moving they are not engaging so what we require is a not more screen time but less screen time with active learning methods mainly for early childhood education so these are the current challenges in the ukrainian market as well and so that's what how we can be working on these areas finland mainly in the early childhood education has given this solution 80 years back to everyone and that problem has been solved in a different way in Finland. So at CC, we design this various creative solution in the field of early childhood, primary and secondary education. We develop the Finnish curriculum schools across the globe. And we also have a teacher training programs. And we have some programs where we are working in the research area of creative pedagogy. That's what we do. Specifically for this part of early childhood education, we learned something from the Finnish innovation called as a ITS Packhouse or it's called as a Kela Maternity Pack and through which we designed something and which we call as a Sisu Box which is a Finnish preschool in a box. What is this? So we got this motivation. So in Finland when the any mother is expecting a baby in the seventh and eighth month of the pregnancy you get a box at home and in that box you have a basic utilities for the mother and child uh, for first few months like clothes, uh, uh, sleeping bed and everything. And uh, this uh, was invented in 1938 when the infant mortality was very high in Finland and with this part this reduced the infant mortality. Then we thought that okay when is the second this was mainly to give an equity and quality for early childhood education here in Finland. We thought that when is the second birth of the child happens? Anyone knows when is the second birth of the child happens? Yes, second birth of the child happens when he or she leaves the safe lap of a mother and go to the preschool, go to the Pavakoti. In Finnish Pavakotis, we have, that's why we call it as a Pavakoti because it's a fun, enjoying, without academics, it's a fun experience. But that's not true for the rest part of the world. So we designed something what we call as a Finnish preschool in the box. It is a research based toolkit. It has a teaching aids, games, and it is mainly for the teachers and parents to make early years fun and play based. That's what our main goal. And for that, we researched through many teachers in Finland, in Tampere, as well as in Helsinki area, as well as this Espoo area. And they gave us a very amazing tools of how we can design this box. You can see that box. Those who are not online, I will show you that box in a minute. It's a physical box. So what does that box do? Oh, one second. Okay, sorry. Here it is. Uh, one second. It is not moving here. Yes. Okay. So this box, once you open this box, you will find uh, more than 30 different games and activities which are mapped as per the curriculum, as per different age groups and their developmental areas. And those areas are being mapped to the various curriculum transversal competences. So you can see this, uh, how this box looks like. It's a wooden box as well as it's a cardboard box for shipping. And we have simple, these boxes have very ergonomic and child friendly material it's made with the cotton so that you can use it you can wash the things and you can still make it there and then these all activities are connected with the fun learning activities and connected with the curriculum so how it looks like so because i think you have been sitting for a long time i request everyone those who are here to play with this for some time so you you will enjoy some can i can i have someone volunteers here yes here this program is called Satu Yoga. Please, someone help me here. And you will find Satu in Finnish language is a Satu in Finnish language is a story, and uh, and Yoga is Yoga for everyone knows. So what we have done, you can see that on that material you will find different Yoga positions, 
and this is just not connected with this yoga positions we have connected each of the yoga positions with different alphabets in english language so a has different position b has different position and then we teach the alphabets through yoga positions and now how to make it play that you have this yoga cubes you throw it and everybody will have their position and in your hand you have a challenge there is a challenge of 60 seconds 40 seconds 20 seconds relax hold so you get a position and then you get a challenge that you have to complete within your group and that's a fun learning for everyone so you you learn at least six alphabets and one position in yoga so that's the, how we can be able to develop and in finland we do it as a part of our exercises in Paivakoti, but that's what we would like to make it for everyone everyone across the globe so this is not only the games inside the sisu box you get a customized curriculum as per the transversal competences at early childhood you get a teacher training program because all these things is connected to pedagogy so that's why it requires the pedagogy that's why training is required and we have a small solution through which the teachers can take the photographs of the child as well as parents at home can take the photographs of the child and connect it to the learning outcomes so at the end of the year you can have a complete portfolio of a child with curriculum outcomes and corresponding learning outcomes there so this is how we work on this part i just told you about satu yoga how it works so those who are online you can see this how we are playing here we will play maybe during the break and we will try to see how the yoga works in practice for everyone there are multiple versions of the box we have stem box of the sisu box we have early childhood education box we have mathematics mathematical thinking box as well as we have early math and early uh, language box and also we have something called as a cerebration box which is given given for the more thinking and very uh, brain development related activities which are connected for this so these are the various box now we are already selling these boxes across the globe and we have also this is all connected to curriculum that's why every uh, game has connected curriculum learning outcome and ideas connected to this part the early childhood market is booming across the globe and what we can see that this is going to touch more than 500 billion dollars by 2026 and the main category is a 5 to 8 year age and 3 to 5 year age that's where we are concentrating and this is the next boom in next six years that's coming and mainly also the ukrainian market as well as the ukrainians who are moving around europe this is the main market that we are targeting right now and we have already sold these boxes in these many countries we have already subscription for 105 schools across globe in india vietnam as well as in saudi arabia usa uh, but now our main goal is to make the happy learning for everyone in ukraine so maybe one of our major achievement okay we sold 100 and 550 boxes in a single day uh, this is we are requesting or in fact this is our ask for we are asking for 500k euros uh, in return to equity as well and we our game is to make the box available for 200 schools till 2026 and the main funding will be used mainly for research as well as business development and the spreading of this work in different markets including ukraine that's our main area of work this is our short team a very active uh, teachers pedagogical experts but mainly we are all learners uh, in ukraine we are trying to collaborate with this bucha school bucha school is a, a area outside uk Kiev, and we are planning to see how we can work with this municipal corporation and so our main goal is happy learning every day for everyone thank you very much thank you Anna, for this hands already raised so Great, thank you so much for the presentation. I had a question. You uh, mentioned curriculum uh, several times, and, and uh, if I gathered wrong, uh, right, you had uh, the Finnish curriculum yep. for the preschool in mind. Yes, yes. But um, of course, nationally, most countries have their own. So, how do you combine these two? Great question, and thanks for this. So whenever we work with any country, we start working, understanding their curriculum and adapt those activities for this. 
so this book even though it has a finished curriculum we have connected on each of the page you will see the corresponding skills and competences connected over there and they are connected for the particular country so we change the books for every country we have adapted this so we have versions for vietnamese in vietnam part in india there is a different curriculum and these books keep on changing for every part and this is not a phys physical books we encourage for teachers mainly because it is not required them to open 100 apps and do it together but we have also online version for this so which is very adaptable and easy to print locally so that's how we do it actually and it is it's it's a hard work research work what we do but that's pays off once we connect to one one market uh, it's enough for that actually thank you thank you for this question um, thanks so much for a very fun presentation here I'd like to contrast it a bit with the very boring questions so because this is a physical product uh, could you talk a little bit about unit economics and the profit margin yes um, and also the contents of the box uh, is everything that is in there is it your proprietary products or do you also include stuff from other companies and if you do what's the arrangement there Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, so I will answer the second question first that the material almost 60% material is a proprietary which has been manufactured designed by us 40% we outside for from other organizations companies and we have made a specific types with them that we can e include their material in in our box with their brand name and the reason because how we do it because it's not possible for everyone to manufacture locally for us and we want to make the entire end experience better for the children as per the curriculum that's the point uh, why we are doing it second unit economics we have multiple boxes but this standard box we are selling it for it has more than 30 games activities with teacher training and uh, all the corresponding uh, app and everything we are selling it for 300 euros uh, retail market uh, as well as b2b market we are selling for 200 euros uh, and uh, our cost to uh, so our uh, gross margins are around 40 percent and uh, our net margins like after everything uh, we, we take it around uh, 20 percent 18 to 20 percent thank you very much yes and you are at slash right next week yes uh, and i request everyone because cc not only do do this but also we organize various training program for teachers develop the schools and also we organize the finnish school visits so during slash those the companies who are coming here if you want to experience a finnish school in practice we have organized a school visit on 19th of november one day prior to the slash and you are welcome to join this part and the money for the, uh, this uh, entry fee goes to the school it will not come to us so please join it will be a great fun experience and we are going to see a actual finish school uh, morning 8 30 till one o'clock in the afternoon welcome for that thanks that was a wonderful product the presentation it would have been nice to have that at home also yes so but please. my question is then what about the grandparents markets and family markets for that because that could be something yes at home too yes so i think we we, we got this uh, final outcome during covid when the parents started ordering this 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 box for us actually and it worked well so we are trying to find the market which is customized for the grandparents as well as for the for, for the families so we have unit economics also for the individual families uh, the it, it costs around 250 euros for one family it is a bit expensive but it they get everything in the box and also they get a training for the parents because we have one program called kyc know your child now this program is very important to understand how the child behaves while playing with these games einstein used to say that the play is the highest form of research but all parents are not aware that okay how the child plays and what is connection to learning so that training and this games are important for the parents and the grandparents so we are trying to do that thank you Excellent.